Hello and welcome. This is Impact Frames. Um, this is a tutorial about GPT for all, which is a model similar to Alpaca that I made a video before. But basically, this model is a bit better than the other one because they curated the data and they, they selected 800k GPT 3.5 uh, prompts for this one. And you can navigate and see the prompts in this explorer that they, they put in the in their website and it's the people of Nomic AI and you can see the prompts that they were used uh, in this point cloud data and you have all the information basically they have two models here for us they have this link here and this one, the secret uh, unfiltered checkpoint, which doesn't refuse to answer anything. So it's like the non safe for work one. And I recommend you to, to get the magnet link and download it from the magnet because it's a lot faster. I already download the model in the magnet link and I don't going to do this again, but I can open it for you so you can see how, how it is. Uh, say no. Okay. No. And as you can see, I'm downloading this uh, file. If you copy this thing, copy it and go into a QB4. Uh, you can say file at torrent link and it will be here. So you will just download that. So we are going to start with the installation. We can just get this uh, uh, from here, this and copy this address. But I want to play safe and and do it like the way they 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 mentioned here. So I'm gonna copy all of this. I'm going to go in into a place where I want to install this, which is in my DB folder where I install my my thing is for AI. And initially it's DB because Dream Boot, but it should be AI actually. So we open we open this to open a, a terminal here and we said git clone and and the recursive uh, flag and wait for this to finish. And now we're just going to change into GPT for all. And copy this. And copy this one and paste it here. Okay, basically with this, we probably also train our, train our own model because we got the path and the transformers. I guess it's not just for inference, but also for training. But now we are going to go into this thing they have here and see if that work. We can... Uh, And uh, I, what I did is uh, I went into a chat folder and I'm going to run this thing. Now, first, I'm going to move the first, I'm going to move the folder, uh, the, the weights into the thing. Because previously I tried to put them in Alpaca, I'm going to 
move them in there. Let's try in this folder and see if it works. If not, we'll move it into a chat folder. And if you don't want to run it like that, you can just come here and just open the terminal here and and say and and say this thing. Okay, the model needs to be in the in here, I guess. Okay, so the model need to be on the chat folder, as I said. And now we are going to copy these instructions. I don't feel like uh, trying my own right now. So let's just do... And it's very nice because the user colors are different than the than the machine, than the AI. Provide instructions for the given exercise. Leg raises. To perform leg raises, start by lying on your back with both legs extended and together at 90 degrees to each other, straight. Then raise one of them upwards towards the ceiling, white keeping it straight until you feet a stretch in your hamstrings. Hold this position for several seconds before returning to starting point. Repeat these movements alternatively, raising first one leg, then the second, and so on, tilt completion or exhaustion. Okay, nice. It's a bit different than the, than the example they got here, but let's try with the next example. A color description has been provided. Find the CSS code associated with that color, a light red color with a medium light shade of pink. The hex value for this particular hue is hash FEB4, which can be used in combination with other values to create various tints and shades within the same family, either warm or cool. Come up with an interesting idea for a new movie plot. Your plot should be described with a title and a summary. A group of teenagers are on their way to summer camp when they get into accident that leaves them stranded in the middle of nowhere miles away from civilization. As night falls, one bystander offers his assistance as he drives up with supplies and a map for survival purposes. However, things take an unexpected turn after discovering there is something sinister lurking within their surroundings that threatens to endanger them all. Okay, let's try with the Python, the Python example and see how, how it performs. In Python, you can reverse a list or tuple by using the reversed function on it. Here's an example of how to use this method with strings. To reverse a string in Python, we need firstly convert it into lowercase and then reversing its characters. <laughs> it didn't give the code. In Python, you can reverse a list or tuple by using the reversed function on it. Here's an example of how to use this method with strings. To reverse a string in Python, we need firstly convert it into lowercase and then reversing its characters. Okay, they didn't have much luck with the with the Python. I think I need to pass it an, another another flag. I tried to pass the format flag, but it didn't work. Let's see if we if can list ten dogs. List ten dogs. Here are ten dogs that you can list: Python, Spot, Buddy, List of dogs, objects, dogs. Rex equal sign object class underscore underscore for object in dogs. Get the class names from each dog object. Names. <laughs> no, it gave me the list in Python. Not bad. So it has a bit of memory then. Well, that was the GPT for all uh, model. I think it's a big improvement. And thank you to Nomic AI for allowing us to use this thing to make it available to everyone. And next time I want to try the GPT for all GPU, but I think it's uh, needing the llama, the llama weights. I I don't know which llama weights is like, getting complicated with the 
some repos need the original uh, Facebook ones, and then other ones need like a uh, converted, converted uh, weights. And I'm not sure to do it right now. It will take a long time. Anyway, thank you for watching. And next time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a video of the Uba, Uba Buga, which is um, it's similar to automatic 11.11 web UI, but for text. And that one works amazingly. I think uh, that's that's my favorite, like in the in the quality of reproductions and the and the user interface because it's not just um, it has an actual web UI. It's not just like the command prompt. And please uh, stay tuned for that video. I, I'm gonna try to make it um, in by Saturday and. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and and share it with your friends if you want. Uh, if you want, like, uh, because actually this is uh, really important to have uh, your own your own AI in your machine. That's how it has to be. Not not close it like OpenAI, which is not. It's going like, uh, well, uh, that's polemic. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye bye.